There are some exciting developments at the pond. Some of our tadpoles have hatched out. Let's go take a look. This is a great shot of our tadpole swimming freely in a pond. But before we get too far ahead, let's take a look at how the frog spawn developed over the last couple of weeks. Here, a little over a week after they were laid, you can see how the tadpoles are developing. What was once a little black dot is now a little black comma. A few days later, and you can now begin to see a distinct head and tail in the developing tadpoles. This stage happens about two weeks after they have been laid. The tadpoles will begin to develop gills, and then they'll be ready to hatch. And here we have it, the tadpoles have hatched. At this stage they all stick together and they will stay attached to the jelly of the spawn for a few days while they feed off it and any algae attached to it. These tadpoles must have hatched out very recently. You can still see that some of them have yet to emerge. If we take a look at another clump of frog spawn in a different part of the pond, you can see they are a little bit behind. This clump was laid about one day later, so these will hatch soon. Interestingly, it seems we have a late arrival to the pond. While all other spawn is hatching, this clump is freshly laid. It will be interesting to see if it was properly fertilised. Tadpoles aren't the only creatures living in the pond. Here we have a visitor to the tadpoles. This is a common newt, also known as a smooth newt. As the name suggests, they are the most common species of newt found in the UK. There are two other species of newt that live here in the UK. There is the palmate newt, which is not quite as common. The two can be tricky to tell apart, but there is a slight difference in the coloration of the throat. The other species found in the UK is the great crested newt. This species is much bigger and has warty skin, and during the breeding season develops a large crest. All three species of newts are protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981, prohibiting trade in any of the three species. Declines have been observed in all three species, probably as a re result of the loss of many ponds across the UK. Common and palmate newts remain quite common and are not considered under threat at present and so are not listed by the IUCN. Great crested newts are categorised as lower risk. In the UK, great crested newts are quite rare due to the population declines, and they are heavily protected under law, making it illegal to harm or kill them, disturb their habitat at all, or even handle them without a licence. They are a priority species under the UK Biodiversity Action Plan, aiming to maintain, enhance and restore populations. This little chap is probably having a spot of lunch, as tadpoles make a great snack for newts. Life is hard for a tadpole. Trying to catch the newts underwater is difficult, but I did manage to catch a few fleeting glimpses. Unfortunately, I don't have the technology to see what I'm filming underwater, so it's just down to luck. So it's been a few days and now some of the tadpoles are swimming freely in the pond, having left their jelly. At this stage, they are ready to be put into my tank and begin their lives as amphibious YouTube stars. But that will be next time, here on Frogwatch. Goodbye. <laughs>